Okay, I am finally doing a hoodie tutorial. I'm sorry that took so long. So this is what the hoodie looks like at the end, and I'm gonna show you how to make them. Okay, so this is the tutorial I followed. I'm gonna try to make it sound a little bit more simple because I really struggled the first time. Step one is to cut out a five centimeter by six centimeter square. And then you're gonna wanna round out a corner. I've put these little marks so you can see about how much I rounded it. Um, I just eyeballed it and it worked out great. The smaller one, you're going to do a one inch by one inch square with one corner cut off. With this one, you're going to go a little less than a centimeter up from the opposite side to this. And that is where you're going to make a little cut by folding it, taking your scissors, and slitting it down the middle. Make sure you do not cut through all the way because that will ruin your whole thing. Okay, so what I have in here is a little bit of glue and water mixed together. So what you're gonna do while you're making this is just apply it to all of the raw edges and that prevents fraying if you have a fraying fabric. Okay, so for this step, you're going to take your fabric and fold it in half. Then what you're gonna do is take your template. This is going to be the top right here. You're going to place that onto the fold. So this is gonna line up with the fold perfectly so that when you unfold it it's like two pieces then you're going to do the exact same thing but with the smaller one so what you're going to do is fold this is going to be the top this time and it's going to lay just like this and then you're gonna go ahead and cut that out and make sure to cut the slit here. This is the time that you're gonna fray check all your edges, including the inner ones. Just make sure they don't stick together when drying. Okay, so the next step is to just fold a little bit over all the way across. Here's what mine looks like. And then you're just gonna sew straight across. Okay, so the next step is to fold your fabric. Fold it in half so it looks just like your template from earlier. Make sure to have the bad side out. Start here with your thread and do a simple in and out weaving stitch until here. Do not tie it here because there's another really important step. Okay, so once you've got all this, you're gonna start doing loop stitches. Your, your thread is coming out this way. Take it to the opposite side, right? and put it in just like this and then pull your thread and then there should be a little loop here. Straighten it out and then pull it to create a little loop around. And then you're gonna keep doing this all the way down. Okay, so this is what it should look like when it's done. I'm gonna use some fray check around here and make sure that it doesn't come undone and also on the knots over here. All right guys, so now you can kind of see the hood shape to it. And now what you are going to do is take it and at the bottom here, you're gonna do a simple in and out stitch without locking your stitch at the bottom. Okay, so once you're done with that, you're just gonna pull the string and gather the bottom. This is where your sleeve things come in. So this part is the hardest part and most confusing. You're gonna keep it gathered, not all the way, but just most of the way. And you're gonna put good side to good side. And you're basically gonna take the V part and sew it like this, just using an in and out stitch. I thought I pressed record, but apparently it wasn't going, so you didn't get the visual on how to do that, but. This is what it should look like at the end. As you can see, it's all gathered, but not quite. Then you're basically just gonna flip it inside out and try it on your pet. Okay, so now I'm going to try it on a pet. Just put the arms through these little holes. I made mine a little bit too big, but it's okay. Um, kind of just adjust the sleeves and put the hood over. And there you go. Now you have an obvious hoodie, yeah. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I can help you out. So yeah, thank you and I hope you learned something new.